first, we look at the rebranding of Facebook. The company with 2.9 billion active users a month is now called Meta. Can the social media giant reinvent itself? Well, joining me at the roundtable is Leon Emerali, communications advisor, and Jonathan Wilson, professor of brand strategy and culture at Regents University. Gentlemen, good to have you with me here in the studio. What, what do you think, Jonathan? Is it justified? Because Zuckerberg is saying that, you know, Facebook is so big now, things like Instagram and, and WhatsApp, uh, so he wants to, a brand that encompasses that. Yeah, I agree with Leon, and I agree with the point that you're making. It's overdue, um, but the timing's a little bad. And the reason it's overdue is because you can't have Facebook as a company brand and then Facebook as a product and WhatsApp and Instagram. It makes no sense. You wouldn't have an Apple Apple or a Samsung Samsung or a Sony Sony. You have an Apple iPhone or a Sony Walkman. So they had to pick a company name. Um, but the, the reality is, you know, Google had to go with Alphabet. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of money to get people to change the way that they see that brand. But also, if they want to hide some of those things that, that you were mentioning, that's going to take a lot of time and money as well. And it's probably unlikely. I mean, you're a brand strategist. Talk me through the idea of meta. There's been a lot of talk about the metaverse now. Does everyone really know what this is and what it means? Probably not, <laughs> unless you're into sci-fi. You know, I'm getting a bit tired of brands using Latin and Greek words to kind of amplify what it is that they do and, and to kind of chart back to ancient history. And I think that the challenge as well is that the metaverse is about a dystopian future if you look in literature. And if you look at a lot of science fiction, it's fueled with kind of great innovation, but also there's always, it's always tinged with sadness. And so you're gonna rebrand your company based upon dystopia. And you've already got allegations about not being able to responsibly look after somebody's data and you want to immerse them in a much larger wider world where you're going to gather more of their data it's not a good look and i think what they could have done is this could have been a great opportunity for zuckerberg to take a step back and say and here are other people um because if i was to say for example that you know somebody had done bad things and they felt that by changing their name all would be forgiven you think that was ridiculous? Do you, do you think Zuckerberg should leave? Do you agree with Leon that Zuckerberg himself is, is a toxic presence at Facebook? He can take a step back and show succession and show, you know, for these other brands in these other product offerings, who else is here? But if he does, they have to be credible individuals because if you look at some of the, the videos that appeared on social media, they got slated. It was so wooden seeing the background and people gesturing like they didn't know what they were doing, like they'd just gone to media training. It was dire. Now, whether I don't think that they were doing it to be like a Saturday Night Live sketch to get more eyeballs. They genuinely thought that they could pull this off and they flunked. The whole point of a rebrand is to relaunch your image. Um, is this going to happen for, for Facebook, do, do you think? No, because they haven't successfully demonstrated the changes that their stakeholders are asking to, to be put in place. Uh, you can't just change your name and logo. People think of a rebrand as a name change and a logo change. It's not just that. You have to show that you've learned from your old ways and there is a new chapter. And they haven't clearly articulated that. So from a rebranding perspective, it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, Meta hasn't just come out of nowhere. Weren't they thinking about changing their name after the whole Cambridge Analytica scandal? It's been a while, hasn't it, that they've been thinking about doing something to, um, I, I don't want to use the word deflect, but I guess that is one mm. of the points of it, to try and deflect from the, the, the various scandals that Facebook have been involved in. Yeah, I agree. And I think some of it is about then thinking about what you're going to go to market with and what this new narrative is. Now, you know, having said some negative things about Facebook on the upside, look, they're one of the top 10 global brands, right? So they have a lot of money that they can throw at this and a lot of money that they can burn through to make it work. And they're also announcing that they want to move into, let's say, virtuous or good areas such as education, which I think will help to detoxify the brand. So yeah, exactly right. Promising jobs, moving into education, uh, knowing that, that we are reliant upon these platforms like WhatsApp, which don't have the same connotations as Facebook, um, is really going to help. So I think that, yeah, short term, 
maybe not so good, but let's have this conversation in 10 years' time and probably we'll see them go in, you know, take things to the next level. OK, so final thoughts. Do we think Facebook can overhaul its image with this name change? Long term, yeah. Long term, yeah. They'll be around for a long time. Thank you very much. That was a great discussion. Leon Emerali and Jonathan Wilson, thank you.